The rice harvest in Andhra Pradesh state, southern India, is a scene of plenty. Yet agriculture in the state is in trouble. The climate is becoming unpredictable and drought more common. Farmers depend on about one and a half million wells to irrigate their fields. Indiscriminate pumping from shallow aquifers shared by many farmers has caused abnormal drops in water levels. When a well goes dry, a farmer loses his crop. Often, he owes money that he borrowed to drill or deepen a well. Thousands of farmers have been left standing in barren fields with the moneylender hovering in the background. This has led to tragedy. Unable to repay their debts, 150,000 Indian farmers have killed themselves in the past 10 years. These farmers have found a better way. They have learned to monitor how much water is available underground at the start of the growing season. Then they only plant crops that need that much water. Nageshwara Rao used to grow only cotton. The monsoons were poor this year, so he had less water available for irrigation. He had to decide what to plant that needed less water. Nageshwara and his wife Sali are proud that their sons will soon graduate from university with masters in agriculture. He is one of 6,000 farmers in the state trained in groundwater management by a project run by Indian NGOs and guided by the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization. Launched in 2003, the project faced many challenges. The project needed ways to teach farmers water science and to encourage them to form groundwater management committees. Konda Reddy leads the team working to demystify water science. Farmers can teach farmers better than any of us teaching farmers. So we engaged farmers in the session uh, guide preparation. We used the local folk theater, that is the dance and art form and also the drama, so as to explain to the farmers, rather than one person standing up and lecturing. Ambati Shridevi facilitates farmer water meetings. She's a successful farmer too. Dr. Das conceived the idea of farmers doing their own water monitoring. He leads the project team. This is really cost effective because the only input the, the project has given is scientific equipment and skill development. Government of India is very much uh, impressed by the impact the project has generated. Now in the next five-year plan, this uh, EpiFarms model is further being expanded to the entire country. The hydrogeologist is studying in the university, working for 20 years and coming and listening to your farmer, how you have to estimate the groundwater. It is a quite an uh, amazing achievement, yeah.